You break the law. A short, sharp shock in prison teaches you the error of your ways. You leave, and you're back on the straight and narrow. Justice is served. Society is safer. Isn't that how it works? Let's take a man. A man and a bike. And a bad decision. A man caught and sentenced to prison. Inside, the conditions are harsh. There's little hygiene and even less privacy. Cells are shared with many others of all shapes and sizes. Fear becomes a way of life, keeping his head down a way of survival. 23 hours a day in a cell with nothing to do but sit and wait. Weeks feel like months, months like years. As time passes, pressure on his family grows. Living on little becomes living on less for a wife and two kids. Release day comes. He's done his time. But outside the prison walls, his punishment continues. His family resent him. Employers reject him. He's in debt. The shame of a prison sentence follows him like a shadow. Jobless, hopeless and penniless, he tries to find a way out. But all it provides is a way back in. This story is repeated every day all over the world. Over 10 million people are in prison globally, often for minor, non-violent offenses. In many countries, prisons are severely overcrowded, unable to provide even the most basic services, let alone rehabilitation programs. Reoffending is common, and the hidden costs are huge. Fortunately, there are many other options. With a non-custodial sanction, people keep their jobs and keep providing for their families. They can repay their debt to society and to the victims, and they are less likely to reoffend. Is a prison sentence always the solution?